managers and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will talk about the arrow function in top 11. If you are looking for a place where you can get help about everything regarding top 11, I will recommend joining my discord servers, where you can find managers from all around the world, playing and talking about top 11. If you want to join my server, the link is in the description below. But before we jump in, a small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing, it's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you use my referral code. In order to use my code, go to options, then settings and under social accounts copy and paste my code. It will be in the description below if you want to use it. It helps us both out on the game. You can use it within 7 days of joining the game. Let's play and win great rewards. This tutorial was made by Gaming on Phone. They have other amazing tutorials regarding top 11. If you want to read more about it, visit the link in the description below. One of the most crucial and key things in the lineup or during a match in top 11 is the use of arrow direction, or in other words, custom instruction to a player. In top 11, we have two different arrow directions, attacking arrows and defensive arrows. Later throughout the video I will explain when and how you can use the arrows in both attack and defense. Wrong instructions to the players may cause the bad perforescence of the team and end up losing the match. In today's tutorial, I will discuss some tricks and tips on how you can use arrows smartly and efficiently. How do arrows work? Well when you add an arrow to your player, you determine his mentality and the way he plays. Now when you know the functionality of arrows I will show you how you can add and remove arrows to your players. In order to add or remove arrows to players, it very simple. You will need to go to the squad tab, navigate yourself to the bottom right and press on the first tab, which is highlighted on your screen now. After you have selected that, find the player you want to add an arrow and just simply click on him. If you want to add an attack arrow to a player, you click or tap once. If you want to add defensive arrow, you have to click twice, and if you want to remove an arrow from your player, you click three times on your player. Starting off with defensive arrows. When you use defensive arrows to your players, you tell them to focus on defense. The most recommended thing is to have arrows on your DL or DR, but it depends on the opponent formation. If they have for example let's say AML or AMR, you will add defensive arrows to your full backs in order to protect your flanks. Another tip is to add a defensive arrow to your defender if the opponent has one striker. This tip is from a fellow YouTuber called Miltiadis. You can check his channel in the description. Moving on to attacking arrows. Attacking arrows are opposite of defensive arrows. Instead of focusing on defending, when you add an attacking arrow to your player, he will focus more on attacking and he will be way more dangerous. Keep in mind that, adding attacking arrows to your striker, doesn't mean he will score more goals. It means that he will attack more. Another tip from Miltiadis, is to never add arrows on your strikers and these are the following reasons. You will lose more possession if you have an attacking arrow on your striker. Strikers must keep the defenders busy in order to help wingers score. There are managers that add arrows to midfield players, that's a huge mistake. You don't need to add arrows to midfielders, because you need them to roam free and have a free roll, so keep that in mind. Now I will show you how I use my arrows in my team. As you can see I play a very offensive formation and I like to attack every time. As you can see I have attacking arrows on my full backs, as well as on my AML and AMR I like them to be aggressive in the attack and they do their job very well. Both of my full backs push forward when I attacking and they swap places with my wingers to confuse the opponents even more and I always have players that can and cross the ball to my striker in the box. I have a defensive arrow to my left midfielder, because I have my full backs very high, so if a counter attack breaks out I have at least one midfield that can try to stop the counter attack. Well that it for today video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please comment down below. I will try and help you as much as I can. Like I said in the intro, you can join my discord server and ask me there. I'm always active there. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Take care and peace.